Today is bamboo day. We have some uh, bamboo issues. There was a lot of rain and a lot of a bit of storm and wind and stuff like that. And Fabian's mega nice training structure has collapsed. But luckily, Leg has a plan. Leg will make a shelf out of bamboo uh, Fabian's precious, precious bamboo structure. You got a block and uh, some tomai. Get it and it. Yeah, we need Fabian to take care of it. He cannot just leave. Come, Fabian, come and take care of this. <laughs> Fabian, come and take care of this. Bamboo is a, a bit a special thing. Sometimes, some some of them last very long time. Some of them don't. So it needs to be either harvested at the right time or have the right age and be put in the right conditions if it's just buried in the soil or there's too much rain and yeah it's 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 uh, you we need to practice more water inside the bamboo also next time Fabian you need to make a roof you need to make a structure where you put your structure inside then you have a place with a roof and then you can have your training equipment inside the roof. Yes, and then you make a floor out of um, limestone. Limestone and rocks. Termite don't like limestone. The bamboo table where we stacked a ton of bamboo and other stuff has now collapsed. So this needs to be cleared. Where is Fabian? And Fabian's structure is like, it's still standing, but it's a little bit skewed to the left. But uh, yeah, it's still holding up. When will it collapse? Nobody knows. I did my mud helmet and then I did my round of mangoes. So I checked of, um, if there are any cracked mangoes on the trees and if there are any dropped mangoes to clear the ground because soon we will need to cut the weeds because they are overgrowing everything. It's not so good. And now it's time for bamboo, clearing the bamboo. And we're protected by this mud hat, which gives um, like protection from the sun. So I think this is the best thing for protecting from the sun, protecting maybe from mosquitoes, protecting from itchy plants and itchy um, worms. There are little, small worms with small hair and they're like crawling everywhere. And if you touch that, you can get the and um, it will get very itchy, you will get like allergic reaction on your skin. So I think maybe just covering your body with one inch of mud. Yes! And you can just reapply some of it. Um, I need to figure out how to cle uh, clean the mud in an easy way. Because there are a lot of fiber, fiber or carbon from, from the roots of plants. But you can reapply. Whenever it, it dries up, this is probably not not thick enough, but it's nice to reapply and it's wet and it's uh, cold. So you can cool down, you can be out in the sun. So a sunscreen, I think l kids will love it in Europe. So stop buying the shitty sunscreen and just take uh, on a lot of mud when you go uh, on the beach or something. Take a mud bucket with you. Your children will love you for this. Imagine, like, parents shouting their children all the time when they were in kindergarten because they play with mud. And now, the parents come with a bucket of mud. Children go crazy. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, things change. Parents accept change, okay? I managed to put a brick under this one, so there's still a stone under, but it was completely buried. So when you you can see how it uh, looks, the, the the wood is wet, and there when the soil goes in here, the termites and just attack the the bamboo, and 
yeah, it starts to rot, so it needs to be above ground level. Fabian, we need to put more stones or higher stones, so when the wet season goes kicks in, everything is wet and starts to sink. So, yeah, learning, learning, doing by learning or learning by doing or something like that. Compost wood. I'm doing some supporting stuff and I'm trying to put a brick under this piece but I don't think I can do this alone. So Fabian, I need help right now. Look at the red Cavendish. Almost there. Leg will help me just to push that brick uh, that's not a brick, just a nice flat stone completely under, so it's in the middle. It's possible. Yeah, I don't think it will collapse anytime soon, hopefully. It's very nice. It's a good thing. Nice place to store some bamboo. We used a lot of it for different projects, so it's very nice. Thank you, Fabian and friends. Friends, for example, Matto, who helped to uh, take some of this bamboo harvested from an uh, area nearby where it would be burned if we didn't harvest it. So don't burn, harvest and store and then you can use the bamboo to build all kinds of cool things. Now the stone is under and the brick there. Maybe it's skewed too much. Maybe it's skewing to the... But I, don't, I think it's it's not a big problem if it's skewing a little bit to the to the building because then it will not lean out because it seems like the soil is getting... Yeah, but probably it's good to at some point put something under the this part too. But yeah, right now it's uh, it's okay. If it will fall, it will fall into the building instead of if people are walking here and then die or something. It's not good. <laughs> 